Well, it has been amazing out here. Uh, it has been everything that I hoped this would be, except for one thing. Well, good morning guys we made it to the grand canyon it is our first day here and first up what do we have paula we are going to hike the south kaibab trail down to ua point it's about a 1.8 mile round trip trail so we're looking forward to it let's go let's go We made it down to Uwa Point and we're heading back up. We're taking it a little slower than normal. I was sick all throughout the night and so this morning I'm really weak so it's going to take us a while to get back up to the top. What goes down must come back up. <laughs> she has almost made it back. You see the shuttle stop at the top. Well, we made it back up to the rim and took a shuttle back to the campground. Paula is inside the camper van um, resting right now. She's actually asleep. Hopefully she will wake up feeling much better than she did um, as, she, as she got to the van. Um, it was still a beautiful hike. I know it was tough for her and then that made it um, tough for me as well, especially emotionally. Um, I, I hate seeing her struggle like that and so that certainly um, took the enjoyment level down quite a bit for both of us. Uh, hopefully we'll get some good video clips from this morning and be able to look back on it and, and have a different experience the next time we take a look at what we, what we saw this morning. Um, so the idea right now is just let her rest a little bit and see what happens after that. I'm not sure what she's going to be up for. Um, I will say one thing while we're here, this campground um, is pretty nice. It's the only uh, full hookup campground inside the National Park here at Grand Canyon. Um, it is called Trailer Village RV Park and the shuttle system drops you off right here um, at the campground. And, and that's another thing, the shuttle system here at the Grand Canyon is remarkable. There are three different loops, the orange, blue, and red. And 
they take you anywhere that you would uh, might want to see something at the national park every stop is available through one of those three routes and so whether you um camp at the campground or whether you drive into say the visitor center you can access anything in the national park on the south rim via one of those shuttle systems and um, they run this time of year uh, we're here in early april um, they run every 15 minutes and so you can hop off wherever you want at any of the overlooks uh, any of the museums or visitor centers or um, places to eat uh, that sort of thing and access everything um, quickly and easily through that system and not have to drive at all once you get here. So really, really impressed with how that's run. So I'm feeling a little better. Now we're out doing the Red Route bus tour. We're getting off at each stop to check out the views and this is the first stop. It's amazing. It's the Trail Overlook Trail stop. View, Trail View Overlook. And it's really, really pretty. Uh, yeah, there are nine stops on the way out to Herman's Rest, and we're going to give you a look at each and every one of them. Let's go. Let's go. So the plan for today was for Paula and I to hike uh, to Plateau Point. But even though she's feeling better today, she's not quite recovered enough that she feels comfortable taking this kind of strenuous hike. It's 13.3 miles round trip with 3,400 feet of climbing to get back up and she's just not quite ready for that today. Um, so I'm gonna do it as a solo. I'm gonna run down and then power hike back up and I'll take you guys along with me and show you what I see. Let's go. Absolutely stunning. It's 
so beautiful through this area here. Very lush. A lot of green. A little bit of spring flowers going on. So I've hit a really nice flat section here, which is good because it uh, allows me a little bit of a break from the jarring on my knees on that long downhill. And it also on the way back will be a nice little breather before I start hitting the big climbs to get back up to the top to the Bright Angel Trailhead. It's gorgeous out here. I am the only one <laughs> that I see anywhere. I passed a few people on the way down, uh, but out here I'm on the uh, trail toward Plateau Point. I am the only one out here. It's gorgeous. What a great time of solitude, time of prayer. Pretty amazing morning. I am approaching Plateau Point. Can't wait to take a look around here. is breathtaking. What a great place to have my morning Bible reading and uh, a little bit of a breakfast before I head back up. I mean, how's this for inspiring your morning devotions and prayer time? <laughs> Not bad. Well, it has been amazing out here. Uh, it has been everything that I hoped this would be, except for one thing. Um, while I love trail running, I'm a... a avid trail runner i love it uh i do miss i miss my hiking buddy i miss paula uh, i would have rather experienced this with her uh, i'm glad she's feeling better but i sure would have liked to have been out here together uh, some of my favorite times in life is the just the two of us out out on the trail so i do miss her miss having her with me today uh, but otherwise it has been a fantastic morning I had a nice time down here at the point. I'm the only one here. I don't see anyone else anywhere uh, within the, a mile from here. Um, it's been just just about a perfect morning. Uh, but unfortunately, that morning needs to head in a different direction, and that direction is up. As you can see, it doesn't look too menacing from here. Just got to get to the top up there. Problem is, there's 3,400 feet of climbing between me and that that rim so i better get going
almost back. So I finished the run hike. It was awesome. Loved it. Uh, it was a hard hike back up as I knew it would be. Uh, 3,400 feet of climbing that last mile and a quarter, mile and a half or so were especially tough. Um, Paula wasn't expecting me to get done as quickly as I did and was feeling pretty good. So she went, took a shuttle down to the market village, took a look around and I actually beat her back here. So I'm stuck outside the camper van waiting for her to get back. Shouldn't be any more in about 10 or 15 more minutes. Uh, and I am ready to get something to eat. So for our final stop in Arizona, we have stopped at Williams, which is on historic Route 66. In fact, it's it was the last uh, town that was bypassed by I-40 back in 1984. Uh, it's still a vibrant community, a lot of small shops, great restaurants. The Grand Canyon train starts here and travels from here to the Grand Canyon each day. Uh, and so we've stopped over here for some lunch. Right, we are at the Pine Country Restaurant and we are hungry and we are ready to get some food. We saw it's really highly rated on TripAdvisor, so we're excited to see what, what we get. And we're especially excited to share with you what they are world famous for. We got the pot roast sandwich. It is a rustic French bread with mounds of pot roast and cheese and fries, and it looks delicious. And we are going to share this so that we can have something happen. Look at all of that meat. <laughs> that is some of the best roast beef I've ever had. So I haven't been able to eat the last couple of days because I haven't felt well. And this food was fantastic. The meat was just had a great flavor. The bread was delicious. The fries, the batter fries were so good. So Pine Country Restaurant is world famous for their homemade pies. And that's one of the things that drew us to this place because we love pie. So what we went with is banana peanut butter chocolate. Oh, look at that big old huge piece of pie. Great. I will not waste a single bit. Well, that was delicious. We highly recommend Pine Country Restaurant if you're in Williams, Arizona. The sandwich was delicious. The batter fries were really, really good. And of course, the pie was a nice finishing touch. It was. It was so good. Well, the Grand Canyon and I, we kind of have a love-hate relationship. <laughs> Yeah. I love it here. It is beautiful. It's one of the most amazing places I've ever seen. And yet, every time I come here, I have some kind of problem with the altitude, and I have at least one day that I'm sick. This time I was sick a couple of days, so Jimmy had to take care of me. He was so good and patient to to take care of me and do all the things. She that... would have done the same thing for me. <laughs> well, yeah, but... Only I would have been much more whiny. <laughs> <laughs> he was so good to do all the things that he normally does, plus all the things that I normally do, and then to take care of me, too. And then, so he had to do some of the hikes and things on his own, but he was a trooper and just enjoyed it and then took care of me. And, and so that was really good. Um, it was a blessing to be able to be in the campground at mm -hmm. the Grand Canyon. You normally have to book those campgrounds months in advance, maybe even a year to get a space inside the national park. And Jimmy found it like a week, a week before we Yeah, somebody had a, a last minute cancellation on the exact Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night that we were going to be here. And, and so it was great to be able to stay inside the National Park. Uh, the camp campground was great, and we got to uh, get to wherever we needed to go real easily. And so that was, that was a nice blessing. Yeah, we stayed at Trailer Village RV Park. There's two campgrounds inside the National Park. There's Mather, which is, does not have any um, hookups, and then there is a full hookup at... Um, Trailer at Village. Trailer Village and that's where we were able to stay right inside the National Park. There was a shuttle stop there that takes us uh, anywhere on the Blue Route and that's another thing worth mentioning. The shuttle system at the Grand Canyon National Park is phenomenal. Yeah. They have three routes, uh, the Blue Route, the Orange Route, and the Red Route and they take you to pretty much anywhere that you would want to go on the South Rim. Mm -hmm. um, and they are they're super, it's a super nice tour on the rim 
if you can't do any of the hiking uh, you can just jump on and off the shuttles during this season mm -hmm. run every 15 minutes for most of the day so you can jump off take a look at the next point the next overlook and then jump back on another shuttle and continue on and not have to do any kind of hiking or really right. much walking beyond maybe a hundred yards or so and so right. it's really good if you're not physically able to do any of the hikes you can still get a great experience from that south rim or if you just have a little bit of altitude sickness <laughs> or if you have a little bit of altitude sickness or if you have some some small ones with you who just can't do the hike right it's something that would be enjoyable for them as well right well that's the end of our three stops here in arizona we had some great hikes back in the phoenix area uh, then we got some wonderful hikes in uh, the uh, sedona, sedona area uh -huh. and then of course finishing up here in the grand canyon up next for us is we're headed back to omaha um, our house closes in two weeks, right. so we've got to pack up and get ready for that move. Uh, but there will be some more adventures coming soon, so we hope that you guys will stick around for that. Uh, for the remainder of this year, we hope to take some one to three week trips about every month. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, January 1st of 2023, we will begin our one year camper van trip together. And we hope that you guys will journey along with us through all of those stops. Well, that's it for our mission. What's your mission? So we, uh, let's start over. Stay back, stay back. This is mine, this is my pie. I'll let you do it because I sound stupid. Well, hey guys, it's Jimmy here. Our mission in every episode of this vlog is to share one of our fun-filled adventures with you guys. But our greater mission in life is to share our hope and happiness with you. One of the ways we do this is by giving away digital copies of my book, which we believe will help you in your own spiritual journey. You can get it at no cost by dropping by thereisgraceforyou.com and then clicking on the download button to read it on your favorite device. There's no list to join, no price to pay. It's just our way of trying to be a blessing to you. There are 40 short daily readings in the book, that will take you about a minute each to read. So if you're interested in some positive messages to encourage you in your faith, I hope you'll check it out.